Welcome to the first in a series of new camera tracking tutorials. I'm Claudia Sermak, visual effects compositing tutor at Escape Studios in London. Match moving or camera tracking has traditionally been the responsibility of a 3D department or 3D visual effects artists. The point of match moving is to emulate the real camera move so that we can add to or remove elements from the moving shot. However, as 2D visual effects compositors, we don't always need to wait for a match move department to pass us the camera they have created in a dedicated match moving software like 3D Equalizer or similar. And indeed, sometimes there isn't a match move department or sometimes they are too busy and we need to match move ourselves. Luckily, we can do that in Nuke as it has a very good camera tracker. As 2D visual effects compositing students, uh, we should create a camera track whenever we need to do some cleanup or add elements at different levels of a shot. This is even if you are expecting a camera from 3D department, as it will give you an opportunity to develop your match moving skills. More one knows, the better. There are a lot of benefits to Nuke's camera tracker. You can extract individual trackers to use in a 2D tracker node and also there is an automatic point cloud that can aid in positioning of the card one can project to clean up patches or new elements for the shot. Here we have an example of a shot filmed in Shepherd's Bush in London by Dan Shutt, one of our 3D tutors. It is a handheld shot and let's say we wanted to remove different bits from the shot like some of the pipes and signs on the green wall, remove the bins, remove some bits at the entrance to the cinema and add some other 2D elements. We would need to start by creating a camera track. Uh, so let's add a camera track from the 3D tab. Uh, here we have camera tracker. Usually we would undistort the plate before tracking and there will be a tutorial on how to do that at a later stage but for now we can just let new camera tracker work out the distortion. Lens distortion is effectively a curvature on the image which is a result of the physical design of the lenses. New camera tracker is so good that you don't need to do a lot of adjustments before you start. Let's have a look. So we are in a camera tracker tab. It's asking us for the source. Yes, it's sequence. We have an option to add mask for any moving elements on the shot that could confuse the camera track, like people walking or vehicles passing through or clouds in the sky, etc. We do have a few people walking on the right hand side, but they are in for such a short time, I will take a chance without actually masking them. The next thing to look at is the range. Um, I'm going to leave it at the default setting, which is input and that's correct it's telling me here what the frames are camera motion defaults to free camera we have some other options i will talk about that uh, another time uh, but free camera is a default option this is just a handheld so that's the correct selection lens distortion defaults to no lens distortion and as we said we haven't undistorted so i will change that and say unknown lens and also tell it to undistort the input I also don't know what lens has been used. If I knew, I could put the number here, but uh, I don't really know, so I can leave it at unknown constant. In this case, I actually do know what camera has been used to film this shot, um, at, as it comes from Dan's 5D footage folder. Uh, so I know he's used a Canon, uh, Canon DSLR uh, 5D, mk 23 video and you can see we have a list of the most common cameras with their film back presets if you're using some other camera there are websites who will tell you the film back size for a particular camera so uh, setting this up for most of the shots that have such a straightforward camera move uh, this would be uh, sufficient the only other thing I would change would be in settings tab uh, because I don't think this is a good default uh, for the number of features. A better default would be 300 and we can preview these features. New has thrown in hundreds of tracks. They seem well spread. It's only the floor that doesn't have many but we are not planning to do any work there. 
If we did, we could color correct the floor so that it has more contrast. But I'm happy with what I have as they are mainly interested in walls and removing dustbins. And there seems to be plenty of truckers there. So now I can start trucking in a camera trucker tab. Uh, let's go in here. I can just click on a truck and you will now truck forward uh, and backward. This is all we have time for in this first tutorial, but we'll come back soon to show the result of this track, how we can improve it, what we will export, how to position the cards, and so on. Quite a lot coming up. Thank you and see you soon.